Hello, and welcome back to Newbie and Know-It-All. I'm Rai. I'm Kay. And this is a podcast by nerds for nerds, where we discuss everything from books to television to anime and anything in between. And this week, Kay is going to be telling us all about... Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> okay, Katie, you're uh, something of a moderate ex- expert on uh, Fire Emblem as a whole? Uh... I guess it's more just I know the games I've played really well. <laughs> uh, I have not played all of them, mainly just because, oh gosh, Radiant Dawn's expensive. Um, and for like the Wii, which we do not have anymore. Yeah, so about how many games would you say you've played? Like spitballing. Three. Three. I've played three. Okay. So if we count like each route as its own game, then I've played more than that. But but, but you have done extensive reading on the gen on the overall storyline. Well, there some of the games are interconnected, some are not. Okay, but we're going to be talking about a specific game today. Yes, with that has three branching routes. Yes, this is the first one you ever played, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I only know a handful of things about this game. But uh, let's just get right into it, if you could. Okay, so this is one of the Fire Emblem games where you design your own avatar. I thought the main character was Corrin. Is that... You can choose their name, and you can choose how they look. Oh, okay, so like the... The, that the default name is Corrin. And the appearance, like in Smash Bros., is like the default look? Yes. Okay. That is... They are in Smash, and that is what they—that is just the default look. If you don't pick anything, I take it that's why every, all the cutscenes we have are like awkwardly in first person. Yes. Like, like it doesn't really feel like first person, but it's kind of it. It's you, meant you'll to get like the hands in the shot. Yeah, like it's we like it doesn't feel like first person because there's no camera shake. It's just weirdly like meant to look like first person. Oh no, there's a camera shake sometimes. Not in the clips I've seen, but it's in a a very specific cutscene. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, one of your it's one of the build your own games, character games, whatever. Um, you make your own characters so you can have them have any type of class build that you want and there's like i'm about there's like a handful of classes it's oh gosh um there's starting classes for uh each kingdom and there's two three kingdoms there's two kingdoms okay good because we're gonna be this is gonna be a lot to talk about (laughs) Are you wanting me to go through all the classes? Because I'm not even sure I can remember the d- Just give, classes. Give me a spitball of how many different classes there are. Okay, based on how long she's having to think about it, it's, there's quite a few. There's about six unique starting classes. Starting classes, and they branch out into like subcategories and stuff? Yeah, you upgrade into them. Okay. Different categories, and you can end up in random ones that are not one of those beginning ones. Okay. Are, are these are these classes anything like the ones in three three houses or? Uh, are some the... are, some are not. Okay. Well, we're not gonna go into the mechanics because that is Yay! not why that is not we why we do not we're want here. that. Okay. So you build your character, you pick your class, then what? Then you have a. It opens with your character having a dream. Okay, go from there. Um, they're having a dream about uh, being in the middle of a field with your siblings. Uh, How many siblings are there? Uh, there, well, there's a. I mean, for the dream. The dream. There's uh, about eight. I was not talking about like between the two kingdoms. Okay. I mean, like the one that you are in <laughs> four. right now. Four. Okay. Okay. There's Keep... four. Four. Uh, your th- your dream. You are on a battlefield, learning how to fight. But you are learning how to fight with what appears to be your enemy, but they call you sister or brother. You know. Okay. And uh, what kingdom is, are we starting with the? 
we start or you always start in the kingdom of nor nor that's kind of like black and purple aesthetic of yes european yes gothic uh, very much gothic okay okay and this is the one that gets memed on a bit right <laughs> the for some of the for some of the character designs in this one yeah all right some well all, several character designs get memed on but nor has a couple of oddballs that hot, are hot topic wannabes mm. um <laughs> okay they're edgy and they know it yep okay so dream with with uh, your siblings you were raised with and the people you're at war with also calling you sibling but okay. you're learning to fight from your so that's the opponent tu- that's the tutorial yeah it's the tutorial okay. it's just dream is the tutorial okay well it's one of the tutorials there are several because there's several different mechanics yes okay um, while you're there your your siblings from nor show up mm-hmm. and they're like oh hey we've been looking for you and basically they start fi- both groups start fighting over you is this a prophetic dream yes like does this exact scenario yes, play it out does. okay okay so go keep going so you're having a this dream you're like weirded out because you have like you have eight siblings in the dream and it's weird yeah then you don't want you kind of, we kind of see what's going on in the world outside of your dream which is you are in a spooky isolated castle far behind the front lines of the conflict but you are have not been allowed to leave like leave the castle or yeah. like at all yeah you don't leave the castle do the others leave the castle yep they come to visit you well that's are you you're not the youngest one nope you're second to youngest okay that feels like I I know I have a feeling I know where this is going because we've talked about this at least a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is like you're not allowed to leave because it's a you're secretly a prisoner sort of situation. Yeah. Or, yeah. You've been adopted, but by the evil by an evil king who is totally not voiced by Travis Willingham. <laughs> <laughs> it so is. Yeah. It's so funny. I can't listen to any any of his voice lines without thinking like, oh, yep, that's Travis. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Matt Mercer's in this game. Yeah, but the, the Matt's voice comes off as more normal as opposed to Travis's portrayal <laughs> being so blatantly him. Well, to be fair, the dude he's voicing is blatantly evil. <laughs> like, very blatantly evil. Are the, is the rest of the kingdom aware of this? or like They're just like, oh, yep, that's the king. We, we kind of don't like him that much. But we're stuck with him. Yep. Okay, so when does the story kick in? Well, like what? When does the plot begin? Because right now, we there's just been a whole lot of tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've been summoned by your father to see if you are capable enough of combat to leave the castle. Okay. So you go to the capital. You Which, weren't in the capital? No. You were just in some random castle? You were in the castle, like, really far away from the thing. The capital isn't closer to the border. Okay. But you go to the capital to go to the castle to visit your dad. <laughs> I'm going to do that every time. Does he even look human? No, I've... he, he, white, white hair, he looks, he's kind of grayish looking dude. Yeah, gray is not a good indicator of, yep, that's a red-blooded human right there. I know, it's, um, yeah. We find out later he's not at all, but, yeah. yeah. Just the vibe, just the vibe alone is like, mm, that doesn't look, that doesn't look right. Anyway. Uh, basically, the game is trying to sell you on this dude is evil pretty hardcore. Well, it's doing a pretty solid job The that. problem is your character is, is not just, supposed to know that. Is somewhat naive, so they're like, dad, about mm. some things, and you're like, He's clearly evil and clearly doesn't like you. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is before, they, like, 
quote unquote nuanced storytelling in, in these games. Nope, Awakening has more nu- nuanced storytelling in this. Then why is this what this specific rather important plot line so like? Well, it's... wake up, you know. I'll put it this way: uh, Fates is not known for good writing. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> You're gonna be mad. Well, glad we started with this one. <laughs> it's the first one I played. Okay. And I didn't think it. I didn't care about whether it had good writing or not. I cared that it was fun. Okay, so because I was like maybe eighteen, nineteen at the time. That's old enough to be concerned about good writing. Anyway, so I was in beginning college. Most of my concerns were with that. All right. So, blatantly evil father who you're like, Dad, to. Yeah. Uh, you prove yourself, right? Do you or do you They not? have you fight these captured Bushidan fighters. Okay, so prisoners of war. Yeah, you fight prisoners of war. And? You kick their butts. And? He's like, okay, you've beaten them. Kill them. And? You're like, uh, they, they no, um. They were clearly beaten. We don't need to kill them. Uh huh. And he's like, "Fucking kill them." Yeah. And then when you refuse to kill them, if you refuse, is there an option to kill them or no? Oh, so it, it's determined. You so you don't have as much agency as you'd like to think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your okay. agency is mainly what class am I gonna be? What class are people around me gonna be? What tile on this board are they gonna go to? Because some like. Cutscene story bits, you have no choice. Um, there is one key choice, but it's clearly like the one key choice mm-hmm. that decides what route you're going on. Mm-hmm. Three Houses has more options than that, but. All right. So he gets upset because you don't kill the already wounded POWs that they captured. Yes. Continue. Uh, he's like, okay, kill them at your older brother Xander, who is the crown prince. Okay, so Xander, who has just been there, has he been there the whole time? They, they've all been there the whole time. Okay, so he It t- was your training exercise, essentially. So because you failed to kill them, Xander is now going to have to kill them. And y- you won't let Xander kill them, so now you're fighting Xander. Okay. And then... Because Xander does not want to fight you and kill you, which it's kind of obvious uh, Dad wants you to die. Yeah. Um, they're all they're all chill with Dad too. They're not all they don't get the sketch vibes from him. They get the vibes that they do, we just kind of do what he says on the surface, and then like behind his back we do something. Okay. Yeah. Um, Very healthy family dynamic. <laughs> Continue. Very much not a healthy dynamic. Um, then your second older your your older brother, your other older brother Leo, the mage, uh, fakes killing them. Fakes to, fakes killing Xander. Fakes killing you. Fakes killing the POWs to get everybody out of this situation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is just like, what the hell? This is, this, this, I'm waiting for the plot to really jumpstart because well, it, your dad, your your totally not an evil dad who wants you dead gave you a a sword that is clearly like evil as fuck. <laughs> okay. It looks like it's made of stone. It's spooky looking. It's purple. Does it have like smoke drifting drifting off of it? Yes. Yeah, that's yep. <laughs> hey, your son, take the take take this sword. It's called Craven Edge. Anyway, but yeah, it's <laughs> Ganglari. I think is what it's called. Ganglari. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like an orc from Lord of the Rings. It's not. <laughs> that's the name I'm of it. Ganglari. <laughs> that's too nice of a name for an orc. Anyway, so by the way, do any of your siblings actually look like they're related? Uh. Xander and Elise look a bit alike, but that's mainly because they're both blonde. And we're supposed to believe and they're these both are... yeah, like brighter blonde. Yellow Leo is lighter blonde, and then Camilla has purple hair. Are we're we're supposed to believe that all these people are related? Uh, they're all related by dad. <laughs> how many? How many? Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna ask. Keep 
He the cra- did- the queen died, and so then it kind of became a concubine situation. Okay, so dad gives you a totally not, e- totally not evil dad gives you a totally not evil cursed sword. Yeah. And does what? You're going to go scout this um, fortress, the uh, abandoned fortress on the edge of the front line. Oh, you're you're going to... Oh, you're gonna go into a trap, pretty much. Yes, it's a trap. All right. It's blatantly a fucking trap. Does do any of the siblings have problems with that? Well, they're like, well, this is your mission. We're gonna try to do it as best you can. This is a way to make it up to dad. It's totally a trap. They don't know it's a trap. Even though it's obviously a trap. Yep. Okay, so you go there and You also you're going there with your retainers who are an old night guy named Gunther, and your butler Jacob. Gunther, <laughs> my sweet baby boy, Gunther. <laughs> That's Adventure Time. I know. Anyway, but also I can't hear that name without. <laughs> there's also your freaking butler, Jacob. So you go there with a retired vet and your butler on a scouting mission with this one dude. Who dad is like, yeah, you're going to take this guy with you named Hans. And is Xander Han- is like off to the side, like, don't trust that dude. He was okay. in the army. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. So you go there with two old men and a guy who's totally going to leave you to die. <laughs> Your butler is not old. <laughs> Forgive my assumption that the butler is old. That it- if you are playing as a a male, you have your maid Felicia with you instead. But um, I am I'm a girl. I play as a girl a lot. It's the butler. So you have your servant, yes. a old veteran, and a guy who's gonna leave you to die, going into this obvious trap. Yes. What happens once it's sprung? Um, you fight your way across. Hans gets his butt kicked because he's trying to be aggressive and attack a fortified position by himself. And then he dips because... He's like, oh, I'm wounded. I'm going to lay low for a little bit. Uh Uh-huh. And then you're like, okay, whatever. We're going to actually handle this now. Uh Uh-huh. So you fight your way to take the... Seize the fort and you're like... With your maid or your butler. And (laughs) an old guy. Are they trained in combat? Yes. Okay. Don't... Say, shouldn't the title be bodyguard then or something? No, they're than... retainers. Uh, okay. You said butler, and I was well, like... Well, like, that's their class. Their class is butler? <laughs> yes. There's a butler class? Yes, for Nor. What? Uh, keep it's... going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> going. I'm not going to get distracted by the fact that a class of warrior is butler slash maid. Keep going. They're very useful. They use staff, I, staffs I said, and daggers. Katie, I said I was not interested. Keep going. I don't <laughs> want to get sidetracked by that nonsense. Okay. So you're there, and you're like, okay, we're going to sh- take this fort. We're good. Let's go home. And then reinforcements show up, and they're like, oh, hey, we're going to fight you. Are they- and these are these are the crown, like the, the what is it? Is it in Bushido? I don't know. Um, I never played the damn game. High, like the the high prince or whatever is coming to kick your butt. Okay, so <laughs> pretty much you sieged this place that with three people that didn't seem super important, and then suddenly the heir to the throne just rolled up. It, on no, you. he's about to. He's on his way. The retainers for his retainers show up first, and like, yeah, he's right behind me. And we're like, oh shit, let's so ju- retreat. <laughs> so this well, this country they're at war with is the is Eastern theme. Yeah. Okay. The, yes. Hoshido. So so the foot soldiers look like what? Ninja. These are two ninjas. I'm gonna let that slide too, <laughs> because ninjas would not be foot soldiers. <laughs> with uh, just you keep going. Keep. There's going. some like sword fighters and archers. Okay. As well, but. <laughs> anyway, so. You, the the black sheep and clearly least favored stepchild of this totally not evil guy who hit, who sent you to die on a mission, took the place and are now about to be set upon by 
the heir to the throne of this kingdom you've been at with at war with for how long? Uh, about as long as I've read been alive. At least the generation. Uh, yes. Okay. So. But um. What a first day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, okay, we just came to scout. We're gonna get in deep shit, and you get kind of rescued by uh your siblings. All four of them. Yet they're just like, okay, they were we'll just, hold all, them they off were just, until you retreat. They were just hovering over the hillside with binoculars, like they got this. Yep, totally. <laughs> yep, they were essentially. It's okay. Well, they don't want you to die. I'm... Only Dad wants you to die. It's... Okay, keep going, keep going. But um, so you're like, okay, we're gonna retreat. They hold them off. As you're crossing the bridge to go back, Hans shows back up. And pushes and pushes Gunther into the bottomless canyon. Wait, hold on. The, he tries to kill you. There's a bottomless canyon. This is where the whole fight is happening. Wait, why is this what? This, so it's a like a rift between the two nations. Yeah. So they've been waging war with with each other, and all the while between them, there's just. A big hole. There's R- some like structures it, it, on st- on like stone stacks. Th- there's just in the hole, but it. It's th- just they're like, ca- yeah, we don't know how deep ma- it is. So, why not? What is? I was imagining like a bridge over a river, and then you said dropped. He pushes Gunther into the bottomless pit, and I. What? Okay, okay. How long's that been there? The whole time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, ima- I imagine that, I would have imagined that plot point would have come up sooner if it were so important. Well, it's <laughs> n- the bottomless canyon is only important once somebody gets pushed in. <laughs> you said cross the bridge, and I was imagining like a wooden bridge. It but... is a wooden bridge. How big is it? It's pretty long and like is kind it... of crappy. Are there other ways over the canyon? Why hasn't someone burned this bridge? If there's if if winning this war is so important, why they why? want to conquer each other? Why? Nor has almost no resources. Why does ha, she, with the other one Hashido or whatever? Hashido, yeah. They they try. They actually did cut off. They guarding those bridges and cutting them off a bit. But you have this power called dragon veins. And if you interact with a dragon vein at a right spot, you could just do some magic shit. Wait, you specifically or Nor? Royals in general could do this. What the? F- what does it have to do with anything? It means you can make a stone bridge across. Okay, so Hans just punted one of your, like your left hand man off the bridge into into infinity. Yes, and he's like, I'm about to kill you too. Any particular reason that he states, or is we are we just under the assumption that the king paid him to do this? Yes. Okay. He's mainly just like, I gotta kill you like I was told to. Okay. Um, is, you fight him off actually, and is he this freaks be- out and runs off. Is this before we even decide what route we're yes! going down? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're halfway through the episode. We're a quarter <laughs> of the way through the episode. What? We're practically. Okay, so failed assassination attempt. From... You start going a bit dragon form on him. Dra- dragon form? Yeah. I know that Corrin is like part dragon in Smash Bros, but like, is anyone else part dragon or just? No, you're a man. You're also a manaki. What the fuck does that mean? You could turn into a dragon. And this hasn't come up at all? No, you haven't been in a stressful enough situation where you're pissed enough to start turning into a dragon. But Hans just ran away. Why are you turning dragon? You were, you were, when you were fighting him, you started to do that. And he went, oh shit, what the fuck, and okay, ran off. Okay, what now? And then your evil sword pulls you into the canyon. Okay. <laughs> Doubling down, covering your bases. Well, you get rescued by your stable girl. 
Your who, stable girl? Who rest who you rescued as like a weird bird. And she's a dragon. What? And she's a dragon. What? what is happening? <laughs> we were it was so boring for like twenty minutes. And now what the fuck? Hey, you wanted the plot. <laughs> I was expecting like a like a slow build up, uh, not an uh, immediate parade of what the fuck. <laughs> well, she also she saves you. She can't turn into her human form anymore. She's stuck in her dragon form, uh, and she takes you to a pocket dimension where you make a, a pocket fort. dimension. Yes, it's a pocket dimension. Where where did you meet the stable girl? Was this was it before the story started? Yeah. It, was that when you helped? We just knew that. Oh, you, this oh yeah. Thing. Here's the. She's really li- likes you since you rescued that bird thing. Bird thing. It's a dragon. Mm-hmm. That was secretly her. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I'm speed running. I know. Um. Then she's like, "Okay, it's time to go back. We've got all of our stuff. Let's go back into the real world." Hey, don't tell you... anyone I'm a dragon. Oh, she just basically doesn't leave the. The uh, fortress, the 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 pocket dimension. After that, as much, but um, Everyone you wake th- up and one of the POWs that you basically freed, uh, carries you into enemy territory. It's like, hey, we're gonna see the royal family soon, and you're like, well, I'm so dead. Oh, good, you're <laughs> awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, you're finally awake. Yep. But you're, I've turned you into the authorities. <laughs> so uh, in return for sparing your life, this guy is like, hey, we're going we're gonna to go. It's a girl. Uh, this person, whatever. <laughs> Her name's Rinka. Okay, so Rinka was just immediately turns you in. Well, they don't kill you or arrest you. Is she going to vouch for you or something? Just like, hey, this person. No, that's th- not what's going on. Uh, they Kaze turns up. He's a Kaze? ninja. He's a ninja. Who? Wh- he was one of the POWs as well. Okay. And he's like, "Okay, I'm here to escort you to the capital." And we're like, "Well, I'm so dead." Mm-hmm. You get there, and everyone is like, "She's back." Okay. <laughs> okay. So that that I know. Yeah, you are biologically from. This kingdom. No, I see. I knew that. I just didn't know it was like that. Okay. Well, basically, half of their half of the war was trying to get you back. Okay. Because you were kidnapped. As as a baby. <laughs> as a child. And you have no memory of this. No, because the king has fucked around with your memories. Oh, okay. That well, that's a better. Even... Ex- that's a better explanation than just being too young to remember. He has fucked with your memories. You have mem- once you eventually you unlock the memories a bit. It is a traumatic situation. But mm-hmm. your mom, Queen Makoto, is like, you're back! It gives you a hug, and you're just like, what the fuck is mm. going on? Okay. Meanwhile... And, and then you go on the Meet Your Actual Siblings adventure. Uh-huh. With with the Crown Prince Ryoma, who is totally not voiced by Matt. <laughs> this is the Lobster Lord guy? Yes. <laughs> okay, so he's very samurai-coded. He is, he is a samurai. Uh. Something he has is called Bushido. A sword? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I take it this takes an extraordinary um, long amount of time. Yeah, you meet Ryoma, you meet uh, Hinoka and Sakura. I hope, Hino- you re- I hope you realize I'm not going to retain any. Oh, names. yeah, I know. But <laughs> I'm just saying them the names to say the names, because okay. I said the names of the other ones. Okay. Uh, Sakura is your younger sister. The youngest, yeah, I mean, yes, of course, because they're parallels to the others. Yes. So, like, yes, you're the second youngest child, so Sakura would be the youngest, okay? Continue. And then you've got your three older siblings, which is Ryoma, who's the crown prince, uh, Hinoka, who is kind of a tomboy, but she's mainly just really wanted to get you back Mm -hmm. because you were her little sister. Mm -hmm. Or little Uh, brother, one of the two. Yeah. I, sorry, I tend to say that because I play as a girl. Right. Um, freaking Takumi. Okay. Takumi is a bit more jaded. He's just a little older than you. Mm-hmm. And while you're there, you also meet 
someone who was captured in response to your capturing, Azura. Okay, I know Azura. I don't know She's much. She's got of... strong Lady of the Lake vibes. I don't know much about her. I just know she exists, and I know she sings that damn song. <laughs> that it... <laughs> Don't <laughs> sing it, please. <laughs> I don't know if it's copyrighted. E- and even if it's not, I don't want to hear it. It is <laughs> anytime anyone mentions anything about that game, this game, that song is played. And I'm so tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's important. I know. It's actually a plot point. Okay. <laughs> so, she was. She is a. You meet her because she's singing that song, and you're like, "I'm entranced by the song," because <laughs> you're a freaking dragon. Mm-hmm. That's why. Is she also a dragon? No. Is she? She's cursed. <laughs> she's cursed. Do we find this out at some point? At the end of the game. At, at the, the end, end of the route. The end of the routes. Yay. So, are we getting to the pivotal moment? You get to the... The, <laughs> what? the also, queen is going to make an on. announcement about you okay. being returned. And... One second, just to back up. So, she was from Nor? Yes. Okay. Was she important? Somewhat. Um, She's not a part of the royal family. She, Her mom did marry Garen at some point. Garen? Is king that the, Garen, that's yeah. the king? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then she died... And then, so he, she's technically your sibling, just like everyone else. Yes, almost everybody is technically your fucking sibling. Uh huh. Okay, so the queen is gonna make an announcement about you being back. That you're not a spy from Nord. That, that the that the war can end. That your side of the war is done because we got our we got our girl guy our family member back. Uh huh. And then. The spooky dude with smoke and who's half invisible comes out of the crowd and summons your spooky sword and uses it like a bomb. Is this Hans? No. Is this the king? We find out who this is in the third round <clears throat> towards the end of it. Okay. Are they important at all other than the fact that they just committed They're an They're technically active... the murdered pers- body of your dad. Your actual dad. So why did they just set off a terrorist attack? They're being controlled by something spooky. Yeah, probably. Third the... route shit, man. Okay, so a bomb goes off. It, it, the it, mo- your mother sacrifices herself to protect you, well, which a- you don't want. Ain't that a bitch. Oh, by the way, this is Marisha Ray. Marisha Ray is playing the mom? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's a little weird. Yes. Marisha's playing her husband's father. Mother. Mother, whatever, parent, <laughs> point. Um, but this triggers, <laughs> you catch her, and she's like, are you okay? And then, <sighs> like, you are, and then she dies. And then. And you freak out. Your siblings start to freak out. You go dragon mode. You go full dragon, and you're a feral dragon. <laughs> because you don't know what the fuck is going on. Yep. You, you basically scream and turn into a dragon. Okay. And then everybody's like, uh, uh, okay, we have two problems did, now. Did the mom know you were a dragon? I don't think she did. It, we're going to find out eventually where the dragon blood came from, I assume, the father's side, or was it? Is it some kind of spell or curse or uh, whatever? The fuck. Technically. Reincarnation, I don't know. You're a kid of a different kingdom. <sighs> Just getting into third patches. <sighs> Okay, after Cookie Run Kingdom, I'm done being upset. <laughs> we are just going to accept this and move on. Well, then Queen Makoto had like a barrier up so that Nor couldn't invade. Okay. Well, she dies. Nor, nor can invades. invade. Nor invades. And then Where'd you they... go to the battlefield, and it is your fucking dream. Okay. I'll... And you're like, oh. How did shit. you stop being a dragon? Was it Azura? Or... Azura. Calms you down with the song and then gives you a dragon stone, which allows you to do it when you want to okay. and not do it by accident. Okay. MacGuffin. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's just like a battle item. Okay. So thing. this is the pivotal moment where you choose what road you're going down. Yeah. There's birthright, conquest, and then the third path that's best after you're doing the other one, revelations. Okay. So I we don't I don't think we I don't think we need to go into much detail for either one. I could uh, summarize. Because for birthright, I imagine you side with your blood family 
and defeat nor yes. as conflicting as it is for you being raised with them. Yep, you're si- you're uh, you still consider uh-huh. them your siblings. Uh-huh. They are feel betrayed by you. The only one who's kind of like yeah is Elise because it's Elise. She's and, nice and she's the youngest and she's you know. she thinks and she's because she's kind and nice and a healer. She's often like, let's not do evil blatantly evil shit, uh-huh. please. Meanwhile, so she sides with you. Meanwhile. Camilla it, will fight you to try to bring you back, like, like knock you out, kidnap you again. Yeah. Uh, me, Leo and Xander are just straight up going to kill you. Mm. Those are the big brothers we love. <laughs> but it's mainly because they feel betrayed. Um, it's a, you go talk to a therapist then. Don't kill you. You sim- think they have therapists? No, but there are better ways to do that than killing your sibling. Anyway, so. Um, plot points happen. Yeah, plot points happen. You get uh, Camilla to not attack you anymore. Uh-huh. She's just is like, I'm just going to go somewhere and sit and cry, I think. Yep, because I can't do this. Yep. All right. Um. So Leo, the, the spellcaster, yeah. he's next, I assume. He Going up you the rung of pa- Zola. Yeah, he's pissed. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. Um. All the way there. Then you get to the you're you're invading Nor back essentially. Yeah. And you're, for, you're gonna go for, kill Ganon for being a dickhead and assassinating your mother and stealing you as a child and so on and so, so forth. So on and so forth. Well, when you're invading the castle, a Lilith dies. Who the fuck is Lilith? The stable girl. Okay. She you... sacrifices herself to protect you again, and she dies, and you're like, no. Because she's been so important to the plot thus well, far. You, you, <laughs> I know you have. She's nice. A, you I, interact with her. I know you. She have, likes you. I know you've had a personal connection thus far, but like you've mentioned her one time, and well, it, that's because it I'm was speed running. It was such a MacGuffin moment too. And it, she, it's she runs your fort in the pocket dimension, man. Every between every combat, you come back to your fort. Okay, so your fire maiden dies. And you move along. And well, you're upset and pissed. And then it's time to fight Xander. And I and Xander puts up a big fight because he's the most powerful of he's, the siblings. Yes, he's the crown prince. Well, Elise tries to stop y'all from fighting, and you don't really want to fight him anyway. He swings at you. She gets in the way, and thus gets smote. She dies. Yep. In and you could see, and it's in a cutscene, and you could see him realize that he's hit Elise. Uh-huh. And he, and the face, the slow facial expression changed from fight to oh fuck. Does he then c- commit suicide or something? Uh, he hard. He basically makes he does suicide by you. Oh, he forces you to kill him. Yes. Because he's not backing down now. Yeah, he's he forces you to kill him. It is suicide by it's like suicide by cop, but it's suicide by you. Right. And then you go fight Ganon. He. Re- G- Ganon? G- Garen. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I mean, he does have the gray skin. He does, and his name sounds similar. Garen. Ganon. Not, you're not subtle, Nintendo. It's the Demon King! Anyway. Well, I mean, he's goop. Uh, he's goop? He's not a person anymore. He's like goop puppeted by an evil force. What the? F- what? Okay. Goop? But you fight him. You fight the sludge monster. You, you fight him, and you kill him. Uh-huh. Azura dies. Oh, okay. Was that part of her curse? Yes. Why? What was the? What? Exa- what were the stipulations of said curse? Uh, basically, the more she sings, the more she fades. What the fuck? Why is she a singer then? Because she's doing it to to try to help, regardless of the bullshit. Okay. She feels it's her duty. Okay. Uh, on the conquest side. You and help your your adopted siblings invade Hoshida. And kill your blood siblings. Yes. You do not kill Sakura, but you kill her. Her, She's running a field hospital, and you kill her patients. That's fucked. It's fucked. That's fucked. Yes. But Why you don't you, do it so much as... The, you allow the, it to happen? You can't, he can't stop the dude who's doing it. Who's the dude who's doing it? Uh, Iago. Um... Jafar! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's more lines of Iago from Othello. 
rather than okay. that okay. Iago. Okay. <laughs> which that one's named after. He's uh-huh. he's an asshole. Uh-huh. He, so, he, he... so, blatant war crimes. Yeah, he... Moore does war crimes quite a bit. Yeah. Um, a bit more than Hoshido. Okay. Do we end up? Do we still end up fighting and killing the be- evil king? So yes, the, because the... we trick our. We're like, okay. So we're th- gonna get him to sit on the white on the the throne, the on Hoshido, which is magic. Purif- it's magic. It purifies you. It. The queen mentioned it like a long time ago. Might restoring your memories. Okay. You get your memories back when you scream and turn into a fucking dragon. And still, and, and still side with Nor. Is you a... can. That's the reason it's the. You usually go birthright, then conquest, then revelation. I I would just because I would just why would you pick conquest exactly? So <laughs> because why would you go with evil dad? So blatant war crimes followed by killing your blood family. Uh, you do you do not kill uh Sakura or Hinoka. You kill Takumi and Ryoma. Doesn't. Doesn't Ryoma commit seppuku? Yes, he does. Okay. It's after you've defeated him. He knows what's going on a mm-hmm. bit, and he's going to, I'm not going to make you kill me, okay. but I need to die for this to work right. All right. <laughs> okay. And you're like, ah! So. <laughs> Takumi fell off a bridge and died, but then he comes back later, and he's, like, clearly possessed. By the same evil force? Yes. That... He is the main boss. The, the final boss at the end. Of that, of that plot line? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you fight. Goop Ganon. Ganon. Garen! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just call him Goop Dad. Goop Dad! You fight Goop Dad and you kill him. Okay. Uh, so and then Takumi thus, shows up. Thus and you're like, rendering fuck. everything moot at yeah. that point. Yeah. So you've just committed blatant war crimes, killed two of your gotten two of your siblings killed, and for what? <laughs> And either way, you have one of your siblings become your the other sibling become ruler of Hoshido or Nor whatever. Uh-huh. In birthright, Leo becomes king because Camilla abdicates. Right, uh, because in, she doesn't want to be. She doesn't want to fuck with that bullshit. Yeah, and then in the Hoshido one, Hinoka becomes queen. Okay. <laughs> okay, so and I assume Azura dies no matter what. Yes. Okay, then the third plot line. Third pro- Plot line, you go. Let's not. I'm not gonna pick between you two. So you just, so you just power a friendship. This. Well, they kind of go. Oh, you're attacking both of us. Then you're declaring war on both of us, and you're like, shit, no. And then you find out about Vala. Valhalla? No, just Vala. Okay. Vala. Okay. <laughs> anyway. And that is the kingdom at the bottom of the bottomless pit. What, there's a bottom to the bottomless pit. Yeah. Is it an extra dimensional space because dragons? Well, the kind of the, basically this kingdom used to be higher up the bottom and it Atlantis itself. Yes, <sighs> only in it the... also gives off underwater vibes, despite the fact even of not being just, underwater. Even though it's just very deep underground and an alternate like it's got like you Al- can see the sky, alter- but it's not the sky quite right. The clouds are portals to. The Hoshido and Nor, it's kind of bullshit. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. Welcome There's floating to... islands. Okay. Skylands, here we go. <laughs> uh, you find out that actually Mikoto is, uh, was sisters with Azura's mom. Azura is your cousin. Okay. Azura is the crown princess of Vala. Okay. So she, okay, continue. And... Uh, you, uh, Mikoto, uh, actually, uh, had a, a, like, a fling with this guy named Ankanos. Ankanos? Yeah. Okay. Is that the king of whatever, the, of Vala? He is the dragon god of Vala. The... Okay. Yeah, he's the only one that's still there. The a light d- and dark dragons went somewhere else the to The light off. and dark dragons. How many dragons are in this game again? Uh... Four. Four. Light dragon, dark dragon, you, and... Well, no. Just, I was counting major dragons, not mana keys. So, you, you can't... Ca- if you count you, it's five. Um, Why is it plural if there's only one? Mana keys. Because it you be- can have a kid in the game. 
uh, with your with your technically not siblings or uh, other, with so your other... technically not siblings or other soldiers. You see, that's what I meant when I said this game is kind of fucked. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a guy, you can have a kid with your cousin. <laughs> Blee. <laughs> it's kind of fucked. Is being a manichaeat like being a demigod? Yes. Where, like you don't get the genet in the Percy Jackson where you don't get the genet where it's not like gross. Because you don't get the genetic. Yes. Okay. It's still weird, but it's not technically gross. Well. Well, okay. Remember, how you are cousins with Azura is not through your dad. It's through your mom. So it's still gross. It's still gross. Okay. They're not even like third cousins. There's this. They're, they're first, first cousins. cousins. So they're first cousins. So, so okay. So well, you're technically heir to Dragon God. Does, does that have to do... What? The dragons tend to end up gods of kingdoms. Well, no shit. I, I picked up on that. Uh, light dragon and dark dragon. Mm -hmm. And, like, given the other games that I know about, I know a fair amount about three houses. And dragons are not technically gods, but might as well be. Yeah. So, like, um... <sighs> so, dragon god. How does that affect the line of succession? So, you he basically the longer a dragon is a dragon, the they will eventually go crazy. Okay. And the song is to soothe the crazy. Okay. Well, basically, Azura's like, okay, the mastermind behind all of this stuff is king, the dragon king Anknos, who took over. He killed my dad. Okay, so Azura's father was the original king. Yes. And your father took up your technical god dad. <laughs> he took up, he killed, he performed a, a... Kind of like a coup, but he was their patron, and then it was like, nope, I'm king now, because I'm so, crazy. What? So, wait, he was, the the king wasn't a god, but the uncle, but the other guy was? Yeah. His brother was? Not his brother. What the... F what? Okay. Okay, okay, never mind. I don't know where I got that from. I just, re I was really confused, and then I realized I confused myself because this is a really confusing game. Anyway, so, Ankenos, mm -hmm. where is this going now? Because basically, Va Vala your, your goal now is to recruit everyone else to go kick his butt. Okay, so, so Ankenos is the one who, like, he made King Garen. Made King Garen evil. It, he was a guy originally. He is not anymore. Was he a good guy or was he still a bad guy? He was a somewhat decent guy okay. before. Okay, so he was a reasonable king. Yes. And then he's all, and then your your the Makoto Makoto's husband or like your dad, which Sumeragi. One? Su yes. Okay, so Makoto's husband is also the one being your stepdad, <laughs> being controlled by this evil force, which is your dad. Yes. Okay. Also, basically... Who killed him, by the way? Garen. Okay, so, yeah, fuck you. Anyway. Yeah, that's how you got captured. You were with him on a treaty expedition and... Political assassination. Political assassination and kidnapping. Okay, so, anyway. Now the goal is to just get everyone on your side. Get everyone on your side to kick this, this secret bad guy's ass. Okay. Because he's the reason that... <clears throat> basically, they... People... They keep having these attackers ransacking these cities on either side. And it's actually invisible dead soldiers. In invisible dead soldiers. Well, Ankenos can puppet the dead. Okay. They're invisible because they're from Vala. Okay. So Vala is extinct, pretty much. Well, it's a ruined kingdom. Most of the, there's There are some people living, but they're like, like it's clearly post-apocalyptic. Okay. Like crap so, okay. Bullshit. So, so you're so from then on, it's a dicey political situation where you have to recruit both 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 sides of your siblings. Yes. To is Garen still gonna get fucked up in this? Uh, he just gets fucked up off camera. Okay. <laughs> Be that's because not, once you that's kill, that's not as satisfying. But okay. Well, to be fair, you're fighting the guy behind him. Okay. And so when you kill, you're him, fighting the Saruman behind the worm tongue. Yes. When you kill him, he dies. Okay. How do you kill a god? Also, well, he's pissed enough to fight you. That's first off. Okay. So. Also, you have the special fire emblem sword. I don't know what that means. 
it basically it's the yato, it's the special sword that's like, oh, it's chosen you, yada yada yada. As it's, you recruit other people, recruit your brothers on both sides, they power up your sword. Okay. And was, it, if you it, get all of them, if you get all of them, you get the it becomes the fire emblem. That's what that. So no matter what game you're in, there is something called the fire emblem, but it's not always a sword. Okay. Because in in awakening, it's a shield. And, and em, that makes more sense. Because an emblem houses, isn't a sword. And in three houses, it's... A sigil or a necklace. A crest. A crest. Yeah. All right. So, this is the best possible ending. Yep, because uh, none of your siblings die. And Azura doesn't die. I thought you said she died in every... Part. She dies in all the other ones because you kill I the king. Dust, the curse is dope. The curse is broken. Okay. Uh, why is he considered a dragon god? Just because he's so old? Uh, he's a... All the dragons were considered gods. Okay. Um, he's just the only one still there. Are they shapeshifters? Or they did... can. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say because how did that work with Makoto? <laughs> he looked like a person. Okay. And then did she you found have, that out later. Did you have a penis? What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> if um, he's a dragon, how could he have a baby with your mother? <laughs> oh sake. gosh. But that's a good thing. Dragons can also. Shapeshift. We find out Lilith. She doesn't die in this one. Is your sister. Lilith? Wait. Hold a stable on. girl. A stable girl. Okay. Stable dragon girl. Does she know that? Yes. Okay. So she's. She's from. She's also the child of Ankaros. Ankaros, yeah. The silent okay. dragon. The, that's what he's called? Yes. The silent dragon. The silent dragon. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty cool name. Yeah. That's a, that's a good epithet. I might steal that. Anyway. Um. Don't at me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so. Oh, I I got to mention, you can also, when your your uh, soldiers can marry each other and have children, mm -hmm. this is a holdover from Awakening. It's better in Awakening because. Do they have unique designs in, in this game? Yes. Okay. No, what happens is basically you have the kid and they're like, okay, we can't keep you safe in our fortress, our pocket dimension fort for some reason. We're going to send you to a different pocket dimension. Where you age up. Where you age up. Man, I missed my entire child's childhood. Yeah. That is not a good message. <laughs> yeah. But... How long is this war? How long is this game storyline if people can, if, if that can happen? Um, At least nine months. Yes, it's like a year. A year? A year or more, yeah. I I'd hope it'd be a I hope it'd be more if they if they can fall fall in love get married and then have a kid in the in that whole span. I know people like get married in less time, but usually it's not the best of ideas. <laughs> Part of that is we're at war. Okay. Though I will say, in Awakening, there is a better reason for it, but we're going to cover that in a, when we're talking about Awakening. Which will not be for a while, because this is... He this, cannot handle I the next fire emblem I, at once, guys. I cannot handle Fates and Awakening back-to-back -back if Awakening is at the same level as Fates Oh, is. Awakening has better writing. Okay, that's good, because... Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't have, I don't necessarily have a problem with the plot. It, it is pretty convoluted. It is. I will say, and this is coming from a guy who just sat through Cookie Run Kingdom because honestly, that made more sense to me. Hun, you're talking to a homestead. I know, which we will get to, and I'm not looking forward to it. But technically, I probably should have done homestead today. But here we are, and honestly, I'm so glad you didn't because I would have been, I would have been flipping out. <laughs> I it would not have been pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so. There, so that's the whole game. And basically, in that one, you become the king or queen of Vela. Vela gets acknowledged, and is no longer quite in hiding as much. And then Xander becomes king of Nor, Nor and Ryoma becomes king of Shido. Okay, and all... everybody lives happily ever after. The end. Good night. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there DLC to this game? There is. Did you play it? No. Did you read about it? Yes. Was it extensive? It's basically a Doom timeline. Oh, know? it's it, it's apocalypse. It basically, <clears throat> what what because you didn't fight Ankanos in the 
Birthright or Conquest timelines, your kids have to fight him. Oh boy. <clears throat> because he's like, I'm gonna destroy the universe. Destroy the universe. Slash multiverse. Why? Why? He's crazy. Why did? When did he get that power? Why hasn't he done it but sit before then? Because you kick his ass before you can. He's building to that? Yeah. Why, why does he need Hashido and freaking and Nor fighting each other? He's trying to get them to kill each other, to destroy each other. Why, if he could just destroy the universe? He kind of likes having people do it for him. But they're not even going to destroy the universe. They're just going to destroy one or the other. Maybe both if he's very lucky. Also, He's hoping for that last also, one. Also, back up. Why doesn't Nor have any resources? Is that because Garen got corrupted and that? But also, Nor is part of the reason Nor is so uh, conquest driven is because they are poor in resources, and Polshido is rich in money. Why are they poor in resources? You'd think that that would kind of affect. If someone has been able to wage a war successfully for this long, that requires a lot of resources. He's been conquering other places. There, been, there are other places. Yeah, but they're so small that they are, are minuscule compared to the big ones. Okay. Like there's Azana, there's so Chi, there, there's uh, whatever the the, nin, the ninja country. There's a ni whole ninja country. Yeah, where... and it got wrecked. It shit wrecked a while back. <laughs> okay. So this is pretty much Noxus fighting Demacia. Yes. Okay. It w if if Demacia had a uh, Eastern theme to it. And Demacia was way more chill. Yeah, because the... and Nox is way worse. Yeah, we'll get to them. We'll get to them. I know Nox is as bad, not as bad as Nor. I know Demacia is good, not as good as Hashido. Um, Nor is pretty fucking bad. They have a con. They have like. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to talk about it. Who the fuck is Perry? Perry is the one platypus. Of... No, <laughs> is one of Xander's retainers. And? She's a bloodthirsty psychopath. Is she influencing Xander, or no. is like she just wants to murder everyone, including Xander? Well, she fought him at one point and lost, but she's she's just a she's just a blood crazed killer. Yeah, and that's the average experience in Nor. I mean, one of uh, Camilla's retainers was an assassin that tried to kill her. She just paid her better. Fair. Um, I will say, uh. Leo's retainers are just silly. Um, Can I ask a weird question? Why did Nor have like have Azura? Because you said that Azura was taken as a prisoner when you were taken. Because why did Nor have her? When uh, Bala was w taken over by entirely by Ankanos, she fled. Her mother fled with Azura to Nor. Why? Because it was closer. Okay. I get is it, it, I'd I'd take of the further away kingdom as uh, well. Then again, Garen wasn't ba that bad back no, then. No, he wasn't. It just kind of became bad. Yeah, it became bad after she died. How did she? How did Azura get captured? She was at a different fortress when that was less defended than ours, and they were trying to get us back. Can I assume that Gunther is dead? He is, but he's being puppeted by. Ankaros. So he's been. So we, we get him back but, in Revelation, mm -hmm. but you're like, it's your, not really him. Is, is your it? is your servant very useful? Like yes. The, okay. So okay. <laughs> Does what part? What did the evil sword have to do with anything? It was mainly just a bomb. It was okay. So a bomb and trying to kill you. That's oh, what it was so doing. like it, it was from Vala. So, but. Oh, so well, uh, it was Ankaros through Garen trying to get you killed. Yes. Does, get, does Ankaros know you're his child? I believe he does somewhat. Okay. Well, Ankaros split into a good half and a bad half at oh, some point. Oh, no, not it's one bullshit. of those bullshits. <laughs> and the good half recruited some people from Awakening to go help kick his ass. This is all in the same universe? No, there, there's what? a multiverse. Huh. It's a multiverse. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. I... We're almost done. Is there any more story to go through, or can we just wrap it? <laughs> we can wrap it. Okay. <laughs> I am at my. I at the at the end of my rope. You are at wit's end, my dude. Okay. <laughs> uh... And I genuinely enjoyed this game. Uh... This is what got me into playing Fire Emblem. Somehow.
<laughs> oh, that's, it's fun. It's, you haven't ever tried to play it. I don't. I'm not good at strategy games. But that is all the time we have. Yes. More or less, give or take ten seconds. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked it, be sure to come back and leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, follow. If you're on Spotify, what? leave a review. Leave a review. Do whatever. Next week, I'm going to be telling Katie about the God of War franchise. And I need to decide whether or not we're just going from the 2018 game or from the very beginning. Oh, gosh. So we'll see how that figures out. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Laters. Bye.